Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay. Today we're doing a very fun, what is this? Doing a very fun holiday haul. Got a lot of stuff over Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and some of this stuff is PR. I will let you guys know which is which, but a lot of stuff here. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this, so let's just go ahead and get started. So first off, I have all of this stuff. It's not all from Sephora, I'm just using the bag. I'm just gonna start with what I bought from the Credo sale. I did only purchase one thing, but it is a pricey thing. This is the St. Jane Luxury Beauty Serum, which has 500 milligrams of CBD, which is actually quite a lot for a skincare like topical CBD product. This is what the packaging looks like. It just comes in a dropper bottle. This I've been trying out since I got it. And honestly, I'm not like super amazed by it yet. I feel like it's a nice oil, but I don't notice anything like crazy to make it worth the price tag. It is really pricey. I'm pretty sure it's $120 and I got it for $100 on sale if I'm not wrong. But yeah, I picked this up. Still not sure exactly if I'm down for that price for this or not. Still gotta try it out some more. Next up is also something I was sent. This was in a subscription box, the Cause Box going to be featuring in a subscription box video later this month going over a bunch of different subscriptions. Don't miss that, make sure you're subscribed. But this is the 4-in-1 Correcting Primer from Pure. It's an Energize and Rescue Primer. It has aloe, coconut, water, and probiotics. Here's what the packaging looks like. This is a silicone-free primer. It has pretty good ingredients. Pure is one of those brands I've been looking at that actually has some pretty decent ingredients, although they're not like labeled or advertised as clean. I used this in, I'm pretty sure the video will be up before this one. It was like this holiday glam look, except I had a red lip on. And yeah, I still have to try it some more to see exactly if I think it affects the makeup. But so far, I like the consistency of it. And the next couple things, on Naturel sent over these holiday sets for me to use in some holiday looks. So they sent over these, these are their like multi quads, which are their multi sticks just in little jars. This is the warm one. And then I have the sugar plum one here, which I already opened. And then they also sent this holiday color play. I'm trying to read it backwards in the mirror. <laughs> this is just like a lip duo. It has two of their lip oils, which I have tried. I really enjoy those. So I thought it'd be really nice if I put both of these in a giveaway for you guys. I keep mentioning this giveaway like every video this month, but it is coming. Just subscribe so you can enter it. Yeah, these are gonna be really fun for you guys to try out. The one I did open though is this cool toned one. I know, right? Me not choosing warm tones. How surprising. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'll swatch a couple of these for you guys. Here's what the little jars look like. This would be like such a cute little gift. And as I mentioned, these are their multi sticks. This is the shade Cerise. And these are actually really pigmented and gorgeous and you can use these on your lips, cheeks, and eyes. As they mentioned, they're a multi-use, multi-stick. Multi-use stick in a jar. And then here's the shade. This one's really pretty. This one is called Blossom. Just these really gorgeous purple tones. I wanted to keep these ones just because I don't have a lot of like shades like this in my collection. So these will be really fun to try out. Maybe I'll do like a sugar plum type of holiday look. Let me know if you guys would love to see that. Also, All Naturel, I think is going to be able to give me a code for you guys so you can get a percentage off. I will put it on the screen here and I will link it below if you guys want to pick up any sets for yourself or to give to others. I think they're really cute. I saw those at Whole Foods as well and I was just like, they're real cute, you know? Let's just go ahead and get into this big bag of stuff that I have. Let me start with the Kosas products. So this is PR. Kosas sent me a bunch of stuff to try, which I'm so excited about. I think I might do a Kosas full face. Let me know if you'd like that as well. So they sent over a couple things. They sent over two of their lipsticks in the shades Rosewater, which is like one of their classic colors, and then Phoenix. Phoenix is this red I just used in my last little holiday look. And then this is what rose water looks like. I haven't even swatched this yet. I'm really interested. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's right here. It's sort of like a, more of a cooler tone type of nude. I think it would be gorgeous on like my skin tone if you have a little bit more of a cool undertone. So yeah, those were from Kosas. And then they sent over their new wet oil glosses. I've been so excited to try these. I don't know what that was. I was just really overcome with excitement. I have the shade Jellyfish and Jaws here. I was really hesitant to pick these up myself because I just like felt like they're just 
a gloss, a lip treatment. Like I feel like they're just a little bit hyped up. Like how good can the formula be? But they're actually really, really nice glosses. Like I was so surprised. This packaging is also just like so cute. I actually have this one jellyfish, which is just the clear one on the center of my lips. I love the smell of these. They're sort of like a vanilla-ish, but it's not a super decadent vanilla. It's almost like a little bit fruity too. Really hard to describe. But this is just a clear one, so I'm not going to swatch it, but I will swatch Jaws for you guys. I used this over the red lip in my holiday video, holiday glam video, and it is really pretty. It has a really good amount of pigment, and it's not like patchy. These are not sticky at all. They're sort of just like a really smooth, juicy type of lip product. Super gorgeous. And then they sent over two more of the 10 second eyeshadows. I already have three shades of these. They sent over Supreme, which I'm pretty sure is like their... It's like a pretty bronzy gold shade. I do have the one called Glow, but that's like a neutral champagne. So I'm really excited to try this one out. I also sent over Waterfall, which is the light blue shade, which I already own. So I will also throw this in a giveaway for you guys later this month. A lot of good stuff in this giveaway. It's just getting better and better. And they also sent a Tropic Equinox Cream Do- Cream Do- <laughs> What am I saying? They also send over the Tropic Equinox Cream Duo, which I also already own, so this is also going into that giveaway. Okay, and the last thing they sent that I wanted to share is the Lip Fuel. I've also really been wanting to try these. These are their lip balms. This is the tinted one called Pulse, which is so pretty. I put this on last night, and it's just like the perfect little nude tint to your lips. I also have the clear one and I think they have maybe one more shade which is more of like a red. But yeah, these are really pretty. The formula is super plush, perfect to keep in your pocket. I love how they're like super slim, just real cute. Moving on to the stuff that I purchased myself. I got some of the things from Hourglass to do a full face of Hourglass for you guys. I will be going over a little bit about ingredients. Not too much because I want the videos to still be, you know, fun just trying products, not going too in-depth or scientific with the ingredients, but I will just mention a couple things. So this is what I picked up to sort of fill in what I already had to be able to create a full look. These are their Scatter Light. This is the holiday collection of their glitter eyeshadows. These remind me of the Bodyography glitter pigments. I'm really excited to try these out and see how they compare. So I'm pretty sure these ones are more pricey, but it comes with three different shades here. One, which is limited edition, but here's what they look like. I'm not sure if this is the mini size or actually just how they come, but they are smaller. I'm not sure if you get less product, but they're smaller than the Bodyography ones. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. There's the shade Ray, which is like this light taupe, but it has the prettiest like silvery purple sheen through it, which is really unique. I love how it's just not like a basic bronze shade because I feel like I just have a lot of products like this. So I will be testing those out in that video. Really excited to put these on. And then next up, I picked up one of the ambient lighting bronzers, which I already opened because I could not help myself. And I already love this so much. This one is the shade Nude Bronze Light. I did swatch a couple of the other ones and some of them are just like really shimmery or just not a good tone for me, but you probably can't see that too well. But it's just the perfect tone if you have like lighter skin like me where it's it does warm you up but it's not super pigmented or super warm tone so it's not going to make you look orange i love how these are just they're pigmented to the right amount they're not overly pigmented it is a pretty light bronzer so if you have a medium to deeper skin tone you'd probably have to pick up another shade but for my skin tone this has been so beautifully so beautifully. It's been so beautiful. It blends just flawlessly. I do have it on today. I really can't get enough of this and I can't wait to continue using it. And then I also picked up the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. I got the shade Porcelain. I have this on today. I used it in my last tutorial. I will do like an in-depth sort of wear test in the Hourglass video for you guys for this foundation. So far my first impression of it is really good though. It's super full coverage and so far I've been wearing this for a while and it looks like I just put it on. So yeah, really excited about this as well. And then you guys know I do already own one of their blushes. So the last thing I picked up was a mini of their Veil Translucent Powder because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it more than the Elia one. So far, I've actually really been enjoying this as well. I have been testing it out a little bit. 
I don't think I like it better than the Elia powder for under my eyes, but it is a really beautiful all over setting powder. I will go in some more detail when I film that video, but so far this has also been just really surprising hit for me. I really didn't think I was gonna like this more than the Elia one for my face, but it's up there with the Elia one, you know? It's getting up there. Okay, I think that's almost everything. I just have two new brush sets that I wanted to share with you guys. This one I have already used. This one is from ColourPop. They brought out, I'm not sure if this is limited edition, but they brought out this brush set, which is synthetic brushes. They're really pretty. They have a rose gold barrel and just a pink handle with white bristles. So far, these are really great quality brushes. I've been wanting to try ColourPop because I've heard they're good and they're, of course, super affordable. So far, this has definitely impressed me. You only get three face brushes. But these eye brushes, you get a really nice variety. If you wanted something for your eyes, I think this would be a great set to pick up. I'm not sure if it's still on sale. When I got it, it was 30 something dollars for these brushes. I don't know if they're gonna keep that price or raise it, but I will link it below for you guys. You get some really nice like fluffier brushes, really great detailed brushes in here as well. I think it's a really great array. If you're looking for a full face brush set, this one wouldn't really be the one to grab because you do only get a powder brush, like a blush or bronzer blush, and then just another dome sort of, I use this for bronzer type of face brush. But yeah, really like it. I think it would be a great gift, great gift for yourself as well. I've actually been using it in the brush roll when I film videos just to put out in front of me, super handy. You get to see everything. Also great for travel. I think this is just a cute little set and you get a vegan leather brush roll, as I mentioned. Next up is something I really treated myself with. This is from Luxie. You guys know I love Luxie brushes. Last time I bought brushes from Luxie was a year ago on their Black Friday sale because they always have 50% off on Black Friday. But I actually got this set, I think on Cyber Monday for 75% off. And this is their 30 piece brush collection. I wasn't sure if I was gonna pick this up or not, but I haven't like purchased Luxie brushes in so long and I kind of just wanted a full set that I could use. And I know these last super long because the, my other Luxie brushes have lasted for years. They don't shed and they hold up their shape really well. So this isn't, I have removed these. It's not the order that they came in, but start over here. Kind of looks like an old CD case, but you get some bigger face brushes here. These are eye brushes and smaller detail face brushes, more eye brushes, and then just a bunch of other face brushes. Like this literally has everything I could possibly need and I love the quality of Luxie. They are cruelty-free synthetic brushes and this is like a really cute case. Can't wait to use those in videos and just in every day and I think this is perfect gift if you wanted to treat someone who likes makeup or yourself and you just wanted like a full set of brushes. It is pricey, but I think it's super worth it because they're real good quality. I did want to include two other packages that I'm waiting on for this video. But they're not coming for a couple more days, so I just wanted to film this video and so those can't be included. But I did order stuff from Cover FX for a full face of Cover FX. I will talk about ingredients in that video maybe a little bit as well. And then I ordered some things from Ulta. I think I just got some lashes, but I also picked up a bronzer from Pure that I've heard a lot of good things about. The last two things I want to mention are PR, the Luxie brush set, the ColourPop brush set. I bought both of those myself along with the Hourglass products. But these are by Define Me. These are their hair fragrances. I've been really loving these because they're not as potent as my perfumes. I do have a lot of nice perfumes that I love, but they are super strong. So I feel like I can only use like one spray. But these are nice because the scent's a little bit more diluted. So you can sort of spray it in your hair as it suggests, or you can just sort of use it as a body spray. I've been doing both. I have the, sh the shade, I have the scent Sophia Isabel, which is more of like a fresh type of, more of a floral, so it's not too old, if you know what I'm saying. And then this one, Peyton, which is my favorite. I just think of Peyton from, uh, what was that show? The OC, is that what it's called? But anyway, this one's really nice. This is a vegan and cruelty-free brand, I believe. Really nice, so far I'm impressed with these and they've been, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, have you seen my new tattoo? Now you have. All right, that was everything I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. 
Let me know in the comments below if you bought anything on Black Friday or Cyber Monday or anything recently you're really excited about. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys are picking up this season. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.